No way this is... Today we're going to look at our favorite meme tank that we have come to know and love. This is of course none other than the ASU-57. Now this tank has many different variants and had many different users including Egypt, East Germany, Yugoslavia, etc. Designed by the Yakovlov Design Bureau, it was intended for a support role, both for the Navy and for the- <laughs> Okay, now the fun part's over and we can start talking about the actual design and the use of this Soviet lawnmower. Now, you may be wondering, how is it intended for the Navy? And that is where we come across our first variant. The ASU, well, really ACS-76, which was assigned to the 38th Airborne Corps for testing. However, this looks really good for a try at a tank design from a bureau that mostly makes planes like the Yak-9. There has to be something missing, right? Yeah, there is. One of the early versions of this tank looked like, well, this. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head! This ASU variant had a 76mm gun with 13mm of armor all around. Sounds great, until you factor in weight. It was supposed to be used in an IL-32 glider, however this was not quite enough. The ASU failed both of its field tests, which brings us to our next development and the start of the ASU-57. Here's a brief diagram of what the ASU, well, the AMS-57 design looked like and a picture during testing. Now, it also had an amphibious design named the ACS-57 aka the K-73, aka the Object 572. Yeah, I don't really get the renaming thing at all. However, they all had the W-51 gun, which made it more economical to test many different variants of the same vehicle. This gun would later be upgraded in 1954 to the W-51M. Its proposed tactics and design came from a 1946 specification for an anti-tank support airborne vehicle and it fulfilled its duties exactly as it was designed, at least in the specifications where it was designed. It would parachute in with a squad of VDV and help to deal with enemy tanks behind enemy lines. At least that's what it was supposed to do. During the Six Days War, when Egypt used it, it was most likely not used in airborne deployment, which means we've never really seen the true capabilities of the ASU, which figuring is how it was mostly deployed in the 50s and early 60s, I don't think it would do very much <laughs> against anything. Yeah, it. The weight. This bad boy right here only lays 3.4 tons and can easily fit into various different gliders such as Yak-14. The amphibious variant later was renamed to the ASU-57P and the AMS-57 was renamed to the ASU-57 that we know and love today. Hope you guys liked the video and liked the video um yeah so you can consider subscribing that'd be great helps me out makes me want to do more of these videos uh i really love doing these types of videos actually and it's just a little bit extra support it's that's always helpful hashtag sell out am i right <laughs>